Jordan, Andrew and Summer had been struggling for a while before going their separate ways. Where do you think it all started to go wrong? That's a good question. It is. Where the cracks begin. Yeah, this is, I'm actually learning life lessons through this, yeah. like what not to do in life. Um, I think it started to go wrong when they started to get comfortable together. I think at the start it was, we shouldn't be together, this is fun, this is, this is the girl of your dreams, this is the bad guy from across the street, let's be together. And, and then when they started choosing their own life, especially towards the end of school with Summer and the cheating and all, it meant so much to her with a, Andrew didn't really respect school that much. And when you've got two people that are clearly really focused on their own lives, trying to be together, the path that she would choose is a moral path where Andrew just goes for what he wants. And two people can't really live that way unless you've got the maturity to can accept the person and know that they're doing it for a greater reason. Well, I think, yeah, they, when, as soon as they both decided what they wanted out of life, there was two different ways of getting it, which really clashed. And I think the more you clash and don't talk about it and don't work it out, just started escalating downwards. And that's mm. why you'll be a good boyfriend. So I'll be a great boyfriend. Yep. And do what I'm told and Disrupted. not speak up. Yep. Happy wife, happy life. Yep. Jackie. Yes. Further down the line, Susan yes. suffers an MS relapse. What yes. can you tell us about that and where? Does, she doesn't have MS. <laughs> really? Have you ever watched the show? Yeah. Love Home and Away. Further down the line, Susan suffers an MS relapse. Uh -huh. What can you tell us about that and where does she turn for support? I hope it's to Andrew. No, it was, <laughs> it was it, funnily enough, it wasn't, no. Um, with the, the, uh, the overworking at the paper, becoming really focused on the job and feeling that she's got the responsibility of the whole staff of the paper on her shoulders, she does get to a situation where it makes her quite unwell. It's, it's as much exhaustion, but it does trigger off some of the MS symptoms. But, um, but in, in having that relapse, she's forced to go to Reese as her doctor, because obviously she doesn't want to tell Carl what's going on, she doesn't want to worry him. So, so that actually leads into a really interesting story with her and Reese, because they've always battled a bit. So they, as a result of that, they, um, they actually become friends. So it's one story that leads into another story. Yeah. Huh. There you go. Get out of town, huh? There you go. Oh, we're nearly done. Yeah. For both of us, which members of the Neighbours cast do you get along with best? All of them. It would we be all easier love to each say other. who don't we get on yeah. with. It's some... Um, this tart here, hater. Oh, can't, can't stand, stand her. Yeah, she's yeah. shocking. It, every time I'm asked this question, you know, you think... You wish that you could make it spicy and interesting, but truly, it's a really happy team, isn't it? Mm. We're from all over Australia. And some of us have got experience and know what they're talking about. A lot of people start and don't really know what you're doing. And but the particular yeah. young, the, the, you younger mob at the moment yeah. are a really, really strong, cohesive group. They're all very, very passionate about the work. Yeah. They're all quite serious about what they're doing. Um, they all want to learn. They all are, are very appreciative of being in work and having this opportunity. And they all get on so well. They all watch each other's backs. It's it's. Um, it's because we've got you guys to look up to no, as well. It's, it's it's really really inspiring as an older cast member to see this because you can't stay in a show for eighteen years, which Alan and I have done, unless we truly love working with the people around us. Now, obviously, that's going to be, you know, ebbs and flows. But the current mob of your mob are. Sensational. I say that in absolute honesty. It's a, I'm blushing. You're a, great, Stop you're it. a great bunch. You really are. Right. Yeah. We're saying that the reason we're such a good bunch is we do have people to look up to, like Jackie, Fletch, Stefan, who plays my dad. You've got a struggle. And they can see you struggling, and people don't like to say they're struggling. They'll see you and they'll just quietly come up, say a word, help you with something, give you 20 ideas you never knew you'd have. And the whole scene becomes better. It becomes a better show. We enjoy working there. Because you guys help us out. We're all lucky, aren't we? Aren't we sweet? Aren't we, lucky, aren't we yeah. all lovely? <laughs> What's left? Questions for both. Go <laughs> ready for this. Questions for both. Jordan, yeah. would you like to see Andrew get back together with Summer? Answer that one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that full stop? <laughs> full stop. That's it. Full stop. No. Full stop. 
No, I would. I would. I would like to see someone educate. But I don't think they're ready for it yet. I think. In time, I think yeah. they're they're a strong couple, though, aren't they? They are. They're one yeah. of those couples that you know. I mean, you can go right back to the Kylie Jason. You know, you oh, get those, no, but you, you, so you get those couples that have that chemistry and that yeah. connection and that 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 really bounce off each other well. Mm. Um, you know, Billy and Anne, Jesse Spencer and Brooke Satchwell. Back in those days, that was another couple that people really enjoyed. Um, the Carl and Susan, you know, they, they just, there are some couples that you just really, really engage just with. Just being compared to the best. That's are, but I think, yeah. I think your two characters are, are, are a couple like that, that we, mm. we watch and we want them to be happy and we want them to be in love and we want them to, you know, to, to reconcile and, you know, we feel their sadness and we feel their pain when they break up. And it's, um, it's nice. So yes, full stop. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.